Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel and a very, like, a bad weather day vlog is what I'm going to call this one, I guess, because it's supposed to be, like, horrible, horrible weather. Briley thought we were declared a state of emergency this morning, but we are under a level two, level three risk today for flooding, power outages, damaging wind, and tornadoes. Are you excited? Right? I have a super bad feeling that our tree in our backyard is going to go and like tear up our fence. That's kind of like my prediction. Um, I don't know. That's kind of what Bradley's prediction was too. But yeah, it's supposed to be like horrible, horrible weather. So I did place a grocery order. I'm getting ready to go pick that up. Aspen is here. She's taking a nap because Kayla had a doctor's appointment today. Um, I don't think they're doing anything today, but she is going to have them check her for like amniotic fluid leakage because she's been having some leakage and she's like um is this normal or is it my amniotic fluid so they're getting that she's gonna get that checked today and hopefully it's not and if it's not all's good which i haven't heard from her yet and i feel like by now she might be back in the doctor's office maybe but it just depends if the doctor's on call sometimes it can take forever to actually get back to the room and stuff so I'll hear from her shortly. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. The kids are gonna start on school. I'm hungry. And Aiden's hungry. I got your food coming. I got stuff coming. And um, yeah, so that's the plan. Aiden got some new, like, pe like the pizza pocket bites. What are they called? Yeah, okay, so they're um. Like the pizza rolls. Yeah, there's a gamer. He His name's like, he got like this, um, he, he like brought in a bunch of gamers from around the world and they all stay in like this house and um they all like game and stuff they play fortnite and they're um like their group is called phase clan because that's they, what it says on the package yeah so they actually put their name on the package yeah oh like, that's they cool made those i was buffalo. gonna ask you what that meant yeah they made those buffalo because like they play fortnite <laughs> they play all those games mm -hmm. and their like clan is named phase clan mm -hmm. so that's just um that's like their team name or whatever and yeah some guy tried them he said he said you know i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat the rest of these five and probably gonna make me five more uh are they spicy i think they're just he said he said they're not really that spicy they got a little kick to them but i mean they're buffalo so they seem good so i'm gonna try them yeah it's buffalo chicken flavor and that's what yeah, he wants me to go pick good. up so he can try them they seem like really I don't know. I'm sure your sister will steal them, Kayla, because she oh, loves yeah. anything buffalo chicken, anything spicy. So if they're super hot, I guess we can give them her. Worst case. Okay. Anyway, good morning, Riley. Good morning. All right. I'm going to go pick up groceries, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll get this day going. And I'll keep you posted on how the weather is, because um, it's supposed to be a bad one today. Aspen, like, just woke up. Riley, you got to get her, babe. So, they had them. I was shocked. Hi. That is them, if you're curious. Kayla's on the way back. Is Kayla on the way home? Yeah. So, she must not have been leaking fluid like she thought. Throw that in the trash. Got all the groceries put up. Me and Riley cleaned out the cabinet. We did all that without waking up Aspen, so I was kind of proud of ourselves. And then, she woke up right at the end. I looked at Riley. I said, uh-oh. We were not being loud, I promise. Mama, I didn't even just realize up. where it says 50 rolls is a controller. Okay. Yeah. Gave me a controller. I didn't either. Throw that away. Alright. Take everything out. Oh. Do we keep this in? Do you keep this in the air fryer? Does that stay in there all the time? I would think so for airflow maybe. You guys, I've not researched this one at all. See, my other one came with a basket. So yeah, I guess that would stay in there. I think I know why they made these. So that would go in there, okay. Huh? I think I know why they made those. Why they make them? Because one time, they, they, the trash. they did like this spicy wing challenge and they ate a whole bunch of buffalo like wings. Oh, for real? Like, yeah, they ate a whole bunch of spicy buffalo wings. So, do I know this person? Uh, no. So he's, you probably, he's a gamer? Yeah, you probably heard of him before. Like, because there's like a bunch of What's them. his last name? Or does he have a last name? Or does he just go by Faze? He just goes by like, Faze. But, like, because, like, I don't know. He didn't do a video with Sam and Colby, did he? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. He's that guy that went to the haunted house with him. The hotel was scared to death. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, that's him. I got you. So, he is funny. He was hilarious in that video of Sam and Colby. He was terrified. Oh, the wind's picking up, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so update on the storm. Nothing yet. Dad did not take down the lights outside. I have a bad feeling it's going to be bad tonight. All right. What? Okay, you've already finished math? That? Yeah. That and language. Did you understand the math? That no, go back and check it. That and language. I did. I, I, I like have to like go through and like mark stuff yeah oh yeah he okay he likes to um highlight his book like he's been focused. Like it wasn't focused on me sorry guys he likes to highlight for tests and stuff like that because it just helps him when he highlights different things know what to do and what to study for that's what I, i've been trying to teach i try to teach my kids that because a lot of kids are like i don't even know how to study and I guess for some people it is hard to study. I guess because you just, just don't know what to. But I don't know. I feel like if you highlight important facts, bold terms, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You can skim over the other stuff fun. like when you study. It's pretty fun. You like highlighting? Yeah. Yeah. Because then, like, then you go through your book and you just got so much stuff highlighted. Mm-hmm. True. It's like all green and stuff. <laughs> I need to buy new highlighters. Yeah. I'm really, the like, they're I getting, starting bad. to get dried out. Yeah, the one I use isn't bad. Yeah. But it does need some new stuff. Brenda's trying to change her diaper. She's gotten to where she's so busy, you guys. Like, if you try to change her diaper, she just tries to sit up the whole time. Like, she's just constantly sitting up. Where are you going? Come on. Come on, let's go do school. She's going to get mad at you because you keep walking away from her. She's like, I'm crawling as hard as I can to touch your leg, and then you're gonna walk off. She, yep, she will. She pick her up. Yeah, Can't let her go in those pants today. She'll be slid down. Yay! Hey, did you take a good nap? I hope they're good, man, because they look good. Are they spicy? Charlotte quit begging for puffs. She's begging that baby. So these are like not what I expected. <laughs> Cause like they're like they got a good kick to them. They're spicy. A little bit. Caleb would like them. Like, they're a little bit spicy. But no, these are actually like good. She's trying to get the cake. Okay. Are you, you can't get through. Have them? you ever had like Valentino hot sauce? Like, no. No. I don't do hot stuff. You know that. Okay, look. Valentino. Can you try one and see what you think? That is literally what that those taste like. They're like Valentino hot Can sauce. Can you eat them? Yes, they're so good. You like them? That's really good. Okay. That's what I'm saying. They're like really, really good. All right, so tell us what happened at the doctor's office. I told them you were on the way home, so it must not have been like any fluid leakage. Well, I asked the nurse after my ultrasound, I was like, do I need to get, like, swabbed to see? And she was like, well, she's like, let me look at your report. She's like, no, because the fluid levels look right on track where they're supposed to be. They're at the same level. She's like, you have enough fluid. It's not like we're concerned about it. So mm -hmm. she says, more than likely just normal pregnancy discharge. Because towards the end of pregnancy, your hormones go out of whack. And she said just everything happens. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. Um, so she said we could have been urine. <laughs> she said you might not even realize it and just then you got two babies in there. <laughs> yep. Um, so both babies are head down. Both are, I've been having so much hip pain and pelvis pain and it's because both of their heads, so I got one head here and one head here. Really? So they're both head down. Also we have debunked the mystery about why the whole twins weights went like so out of whack yes. last appointment. So if you guys remember last week, I went to my high risk doctor and the ultrasound tech that was doing the ultrasound, she was very new and like she didn't even know I was supposed to get a growth scan and like she was just, I know everyone's got to train, but she should have had someone honestly in there. She was mm -hmm. very frazzled and not really know what she was doing. Yeah. So that's why when like the weights went all out of whack, I was kind of like, it's probably why. Mm -hmm. So they did confirm today that baby A is... Went from two pounds. Hold on, I got the weights on my phone. Okay. 
Okay, so what we assumed was baby B's weight is actually baby A's weight from last week was three pounds, one ounce. Mm -hmm. This week, she is three pounds, 12 ounces. So she's gained like 11 ounces in like less than a week. Really good. Baby, what we thought was baby A's weight is actually baby B's weight was two pounds, 13 ounces. And baby B today was three pounds, four ounces. That's good. So she's still in the seventh percentile for weight. So she's not like fourth or anything crazy. But they did get them switched up at your other daughter. Yeah, because I told my daughter, my regular daughter, what went on. He said, "Yeah, he's like they must have those. They must have had a switch." She's like, "Because my blood pressure was a little high. It was like 138 over 86. So it's a little higher than normal because my normal is like 117 over 70 something. Mm -hmm. So definitely higher than normal. But they weren't concerned." And the current update as far as daughters, because I'm going like an hour and a half away to one and I'm going an hour to another one. He said he doesn't want to continue wearing me out with appointments. So he's like, if you choose to go deliver with the high risk doctor, I completely understand. He's like, but we need to go to make that decision so we can get you established somewhere. He's yeah. like, I feel confident delivering them at 36 weeks. There's really, I don't think there's going to be any complications, anything like that. He said, but if it makes you feel better with the one kidney to go to the high risk doctor and stay there, I completely understand. So, now I have to make that decision as to what I want to do by Friday because my next appointment is then, like, four weeks away from delivering. So, yeah. oh gosh, That's I am just like, four weeks. I'll be 32 weeks on Saturday. So, like, we are almost four weeks away from delivery. So, I got a big decision to make. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that wind. Let me go to the back. The wind has started and the rain is here. Oh, okay. If you guys have been following us long enough, like long enough, you know we have crazy squirrels. Look what they did to my pillow. They completely ripped it open. Can you see that pillow shaking? That is not me. That is the wind. But uh, yeah, they ate my pillow. Mm hmm. They did. All right. So I'm curious to see if this tree is going to make it today. This one right here is the one that leans against our fence. And if it comes down, it's taking the fence with it. And we don't really want to have to put up a new fence, to be honest, but I have to have one because Charlotte, I mean, I, I can't live without my fence now that I have one, but um, yeah, the wind's starting. I hear it for sure, and like, oh, I'm super dreading some of these trees. Like, if some of these fall, I feel like they're so small, like these back here. They're just like little twigs. They wouldn't be bad, but we have um, some big ones over here on this side, and like I said, that one's already leaning. This one right here, it's already leaning, so I don't know if um, that one's going to make it through the storm I really don't because it's, it's already like laying against our fence we've been meaning to get it down we had three there originally and we took two down that one never got down because it was probably the thickest trunk and we just didn't feel comfortable and our neighbors were like mm, we'll get it down but we just never did so anyway and those three probably should go too but it's okay so the wind has started rain is here I'm worried my lights are going to fall. We already had one strand fall, and I'm worried those two are going to fall. And if they fall, I'm so scared they're going to break because they're glass bulbs. But we're just going to see what happens. Barry didn't really put anything away. You can see the grill cover blowing. Um, he did drain the pool some last night because of all the rain we're going to get. But part of me is like, maybe we should have put some stuff up. Like maybe gotten those pillows and laid the chairs down. But at this point, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so, hey guys, it's the lot to take over again, because, you know, I'm just good like that. And today we got out of school at 11 o'clock because the storm is bad. You can probably hear it, actually. I think it just stopped. But um, I've been doing nothing. Yesterday, I think I ate one of my spacers. I don't even think I've told them anything, but um, my braces expander journey started last week. On Wednesday, I had spacers put in. Can you even see me? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I had spacers put in, and uh, I was eating lunch yesterday at school, and I think it came out, and I didn't feel it. And mom went yesterday, and it wasn't there. Pretty sure I ate it. Tomorrow, <laughs> I can get my expander put in, and have that in for a minimum, minimum of six months, mm -hmm. and then after that, I get two teeth pulled and braces put on. So that's really what's happening right now. I'm chillaxing in bed because I'm probably doing nothing this raining, you know, sleepy. Mm -hmm. um, 
I've been talking to Brian for like the past two hours. Mm-hmm. And that's really the update. Yep. There we go. That's the update. We, well, I don't know. I was literally about to say something and I just like completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I was upstairs and I was finishing my essay or whatever. And then I came down. I'm almost done with that, by the way. I'm almost done with that. I have like one more paragraph to like finish. I've started the paragraph. I just got to finish it. And then I'm done. Um, I'm already at my word limit. It has to be 600 to 1,000 words. I'm already at like over 600 words. So I should need to go a little bit more and I should be fine. Um, but yeah, I need to finish that. I'll probably finish that in a little bit. But for now, I'm just taking a break. I came downstairs to eat because... I haven't eaten anything all day until I was hungry. So I came in here and I ate. And now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm about to lay in bed because it is, honestly, today. We did a lot of, like, cleaning and stuff the other day. So I don't really have anything to clean. Like, I straightened up my room this morning, so my room's clean. The downstairs is pretty clean for the most part. My bathroom was cleaned yesterday. So I don't have anything to do today, which is nice because it's raining and I'm dressed all in my comfy clothes. And I want to just go lay in bed. And do nothing. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Sounds so fun. The wind is picking up. It's raining. And it just sounds like a nice day to lay in bed, you know? Then I'm going to come to series later and I'll make dinner. But that's besides the point. I'm cooking lettuce wraps tonight. Doesn't that sound good? Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty good. That should have sound ball. It sounds really good. I don't okay, know what so. we're eating. Yeah. I didn't... Yesterday I was, like, talking to mom and I was like, there's, like, we could do... Because mom was like, what do you want for dinner? And I was like, we could either do lettuce wraps or burrito bowls. Because burrito bowls are pretty good, too. And, and burrito bowls sounds good. I know. And Aiden was like, let's do lettuce wraps. So I was like, okay. Chipotle sounds good. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I've been wanting Chick-fil-A. Sounds pretty good. I went and got a milkshake last night. Mm, really? I have a Dunkin' tea upstairs. I just remembered. Mm, I'm so excited to go upstairs and get that. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go upstairs and get in bed. And just chill until it is time to cook dinner. So this is the wind at the moment. She's a blowing. Yeah, they're talking about there's 120 some thousand people without power right now. Yeah, Liz was saying there's some people from her church that we know that are without power right now. But I need to go start cooking dinner or we're not eating tonight. And I hope it doesn't stop in the middle of me cooking dinner. Cause that's what I'm worried about. Look that would suck. Those trees are I know. Right. See it? Yeah. I hate storms. Riley was so sweet and made dinner tonight. We're having her famous lettuce wraps and rice. So exciting. Tornado warning just came across right now um, until 7. So downstairs we go. Tornado warning. Everybody stay close to the hallway, please. Yeah, it just came across my phone. It says National Service um, issued a tornado warning until 7 p.m. Okay? Everybody stay downstairs. Text your sister, see if she got it, because I don't know if her alerts are on. I just turned mine back on because of the weather. Is it like an actual tornado or is it just a warning? Tornado warning is in effect until 7. Hanging out in the hallway because I don't know exactly where to go in here. The bad thing is about our house, the most central inside anything is going to be this closet. This closet slammed full. But we can also go to the bathroom because it's literally on the other side of the wall. And then we have the whole garage. So that's kind of central too. So I feel like we can all at least fit in the bathroom. Volume was off. You did get it? Yeah, Barry said he didn't get it. And Kayla just called her because... She's not too far from here, but I don't know if it's in her, like, location or just where I'm at. So, I called her and I was like, did you get anything? She says no. Um, but I think she had her alerts turned off. So, she went in there and looked and she turned them on. But I don't know if she'll get it again now, you know, since it's already been issued. But, yeah, we're just going to hang out here. They're saying the tornado threat for our area could last until, like, 9 o'clock tonight. So... I don't know, this could be a constant thing tonight, or maybe this is the only one we'll get. I was hoping we didn't get any. I've not even seen any like thunderstorms come through. So, I don't know, but hopefully this will pass soon and um, nothing happens. It is kind of calm outside, but I don't know. I think they say before tornado, it's really calm outside. Is that true? I think so. 
Um, like yeah, the wimp. Here's the extra warning. You got a warning now? Or I so. Yeah, mine was tornado. I was too. Oh, you did get that one. This one just came. But like, look at the trees. We're not even moving now. And earlier, it was so loud, you guys. They weren't? When you were cooking, when I filmed that video and posted on Instagram, they were loud. Well, there was a few, like, like the wind. Really, really hard, but there, there was sometimes it would, like, hot. Yeah. So we're just, we're just going to see here. Wait it out. All right, power's blinking. Oh, I'm waiting. I hear your computer going on and off in there because it's plugged in. We were trying to charge our computers in case our phones like died or anything. You gonna turn that? Oh, you, you might want to run upstairs and do that one then. You got off the internet? Yeah, our internet. I figured our internet went out because I can hear everything like dinging and going off. But, huh? Are they, the street lights went out? Great. Oh, well, not all of them. All right. Came upstairs. Everything's good. And I started playing uh, Mario Brothers with Briley. Wasn't that fun, Briley? Mm -hmm. Kind of stressed her out a little, though. She goes, Mama, I cannot play this game. It's so small. We literally were using, like, one side of this. And, yeah, it was kind of funny. Um... But besides that, we're sitting here, and Bradley's getting ready to play Fortnite, I guess, with Chris, and all the power goes out, and that was a hard one. Like, everything went out. Did you, you know notice? That's funny. You know why? how my lights are flashing green? Yeah, why'd it do that? They don't flash just one color. Why does it do that? Because the lights went out? Okay, whenever the power goes out and I have my lights on, mm -hmm. like my red lights, they start going to the multicolor, like, flash. Uh -huh. But then it gets stuck on one color mm -hmm. and will just be stuck on that one color for like the rest of the time you keep it on. And then once you turn it off and turn it back on, you can switch it to another color. Oh. Well, <clears throat> we're sitting here. Bryce on the phone. All of a sudden, power yeah, goes power out. Back. Can we play with blocks? Uh, give it a minute. Let everything reboot back up because my phone still ain't rebooted. Neither has a switch. But... Hopefully, we don't we lose power completely. The wind's still whipping. Um, but, yeah, seriously, like, yeah, power went out. Power came back on. And we're just sitting here waiting. I don't even hear Barry's TV on no more downstairs. So, I'm not yeah, really sure what's going on. Out. It's out again? Yep. I, the Internet's probably, the, he said the Internet's back out again. Try to connect to it, see what happens. I don't know. Keep you posted.